Gamers, it's Drones or Gigs, back with another Mech Arena video for you guys here today. I am really excited for this one because you don't really see this very often in the Mech Arena community. We have a free event crate rush. So you guys can actually complete the crate rush for free as long as you do all the challenges associated with it. So you got all that stuff and you can go over here and you can get it for free. And you'll see here we have these tokens with the the purple S on them. You can click on them and see like what event they're for and stuff like that and like where you can redeem them. So we have the purple ones and you see I, I have four right now and I'm about to get three more once I complete that. And all of those go to this event right here for the Voltaic RPG 14. So I am super excited about just this event in general, not very much so the weapon, even though if you have it like fully maxed and it's pink, then it, it probably is a little, little bit good, but the main point of this event is all these resources here. So you'll see you have tons of implant parts, pilot marks, and the big deal here is the A coins. So 250, 100, you scroll down here and you go 25, 20, 15. So there are a ton of A coins in this comparatively. This is kind of like um, maybe a, mi a mini battle pass, I guess you could say. And these tokens are only exchangeable for credits. So you definitely want to spend them because you're going to get credits either way because there's a lot of credits here that you can get. And then you also have blueprints and stuff like that. That's really cool. The keys, you only get like nine of them. So, oh, and another six. So the keys are pretty cool because you get about 15 keys. That's close to enough for a 10 pull and a 20 pull. Those are the main ones you want to be using. I don't recommend doing the five just because you don't get enough bang for your buck. Um, but the, the credits and the pilot marks and the implant parts, all that stuff is super valuable. That's all the resources that you're going to need for your mechs and your weapons. And while it's not a lot of resources, it is a decent amount that they're giving you for free. So if you guys check out my thumbnail, the thumbnail is actually going to be the um, sort of event path that they have scheduled. So it'll have each one and how many of these tokens you can get for the event. And then I'm also going to have it at the end of the video for you guys as well. So you guys can check that out and see when the events are going to come. And so that way you can keep up with those events and make sure you get all of this stuff. I would say that the Voltaic RPG is not really something you should care about, but it, it would be nice to have it, especially if you're a lower level account. Maybe you bought Redox or something and you want to try this out, you know, just for fun. But what you really want here is the resources, and that's why I'm super excited that they finally made one of these crate rushes for free, because they have not done that in the past. This is not necessarily the best free event, but it does show that there is a possibility of them moving in a new direction with some of these weapons. So as you can see, it's only two star. So the damage that it does per magazine is still only 15,000, which is actually pretty decent if you'll look at, so let's say the disc launchers right here, that's about the same amount of damage as the disc launchers there. I would say that the disc launchers are better just because they can curve and you can shoot them and they have a little bit more splash radius but um the event itself is super cool and then i also wanted to show you guys the new free-for-all mode which is really awesome we're gonna hop into a match right here i'll quiet down so you guys can read this real quick so as you can see they put the rules up for you here since it's a new mode and you can't play with friends so you have to play on your own the um, rules of it are pretty simple. I do like the this kill leader aspect that they have here. We'll see how that works if we can even get kill leader. So we'll try to do that for you guys right away. And it looks like they have different maps for this because I've seen the map that they sh they showed for like the trailer of it, and it was a different map Two, than this. One. So we're gonna lead off with Orion. Get out. All right, we're gonna get hit with those jabs. Oof. So as you can see, the bots are actually pretty nasty here. We don't have any kills yet. And it looks like we didn't get that kill either because you get health on kill. So 
kind of surprised that he has minigun tens. Not really something I thought I'd see. We're gonna see if we can't get a few kills here with our Tengu. Tengu's always been a favorite mech of mine. Now, Bamboo Boy, I know he's a bot, and it's interesting that he is so strong, and we're seeing a lot of different mechs like brick houses and stuff like that. So we're going to try to dodge him. We'll see if he puts his shield up. We might get the kill. All right, so this is what it looks like when you're the kill leader. We're probably going to die pretty quick here since it's a brick house. Let's see if we can't jump past him here. I do like that you are able to have health on kill. Really awesome. Hopefully we can try to survive. We're going to see if we can't get this Ares. Or not Ares. Aegis. Sometimes I mix their names up. And I would actually recommend going for players when you play this. Not because... Just because the bots are so fast and damaging in this game. Looks like we got hit by that Zephyr. We're going to see if we can't turn around when we jump here. Alright, looks like we missed the ramp, so we're going to get this Shadow, and he's going to drop on us. So we're going to actually keep the kill leader position for a little bit here. And I'm going to start being a little bit more aggressive since we have kill leader and this is a video, so... I don't even know if we got health on that one, actually, so it looks like we died... And once you die with all of your mechs, then it re it re-gives you all the mechs back, so we're gonna have to be a little bit more careful here because matches are five minutes long. And more than likely we won't die too many times. Ooh, 41 meter arc not arc. 41 meter Zephyr freeze and he's shooting me through walls as you can see. So very interesting how this is playing out. I am very surprised I'm kill leader. I didn't expect to be kill leader in this. So we're gonna actually, we'll probably just stay here. There's a chance we could get spawned on, but I like to be a little bit more defensive with the, looks like we're lagging a little bit here. Sorry, you guys. But I like to be a little bit more defensive with the EM rifles, which hopefully will bode well for me to stay in the kill leader position. Can't seem to find anybody. Oh. So, unfortunately, the EM rifles are a long-range gun. We're probably going to die here, actually. And you can't... Most of the time, you can actually take your mech and respawn with it. And I'm not sure if you can do that here. So, we're going to go Surge. And you can respawn with a different mech. So, just keep that in mind. If you guys are about to die, I would recommend just spawning in a new mech. Because of the fact that you'll get out onto the battlefield faster. Oh, and we ran out of juice. All right. No worries. Hopefully, we're going to try to win this for you guys here. Since I know you don't want to watch a YouTube video where the YouTuber loses. But, you know, that happens sometimes. So we're going to drop some cheetah bombs there. It doesn't look like any of these guys are going to follow us here. Oh, here we go. We got a surge. So I'm not too worried about some of these other mechs here, so we're going to play really defensively. We're going to drop our bombs strategically. It looks like he's got jabs, so that's why he's not trying to shoot at us. See if that... Looks like our bomb is not going off, so he must not be within its radius there. We'll see if we can't draw him into the second bomb. There we go. Got that kill. And this is why I like Cheetah, even though he's not meta. <laughs> Alright, see if we can't get him to come over here. That's the good news about the bots, is they will come after you. So you can use that to your advantage. We are... I thought we were going to trade. He must... Yep, he got a lot of health from that. So Shadow doesn't have a lot of health in general. So I didn't expect him to get a lot of health when he killed us there. One. So, looks like we took first place. Might have got some MVPs, we'll see, I don't know. But this free-for-all mode is super cool. Looks like we only got one MVP. So as you can see, it's not something that you're gonna be crushing. Um, I think the fact that the bots stay 
like coming after you the whole time is something that's like kind of hit or miss because if you're playing cheetah then it's really good but if you're playing somebody like tengu and you've already used your jump then you're not going to be able to stay on the defensive as long as you would in a normal match and the health that you get on kill it could be stolen so as you saw in that match there were a lot of moments where i might have gotten my kill stolen or i might have fired on somebody who's got really low health and then because you do that you get the health back and health on kill is really important in that game mode so i figured i'd show off the new mode for you guys and let you know about this event here really excited for the event and for free for all to come to the game i think this is breathing a lot of life into mech arena so so glad to see you guys out there really look forward to it and hopefully enjoy the video we'll see you guys out there on the battlefield